Hello, it's Tilly Tilly, and we have some packages. I just went to the post office and picked them up. I snipped one. I did not snip this one, but I can see right through it, and it looks like Wounded Warrior Project sent me a blanket. So I'm wondering if they there's an error. And I know they send blankets out to people who make monthly donations, but I'd rather do yearly and annual donations. So um, I'm going to open it up and check it out. I may call them just to confirm that my donation was a one time. I may have to send this back as much as I would, um, would love to keep it. So it doesn't say anything about it being a monthly donation. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to call their customer support and see if it was a monthly donation set up for the amount and uh, go accordingly. But that is a Wounded Warrior blanket, everybody. So that was very nice. That off to the side. Okay, and then we have this unpackaging. And out and see what we have here. I know um, the vicious beast is squeaking. That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> you get frustrated and packaging, you just tear it open. All right, so um, Empire Precious Metals. Last auction we did. Uh, new uh, concept of his, his. So I got a Garbage Pail Stormy Weather, which I don't think I have this one, so thanks for including that. I've never seen this piece before. It kind of reminds me of the Aztec that I received. Um, it's kind of scary to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I like the idea of the evil eye. I'm not sure what's going on around here. I'm not familiar with this design at all. Um, but it's a uh, nice and detailed piece. So I don't know if anyone's open for a trade. I like the Sunstone ones. Um, if you have a sunstone, you want to trade it for this beautiful piece? Let me know because I am trying to stack those sunstones. <laughs> I heard in the comments that you know, five actually does tend to look nice stackly, stacked up, but that is it. It is two ounces, and I believe he showed it on the side. Yeah, you see that? So it is a two ounce piece. If anybody has a sunstone, this is also two ounces and is really interested in this. I'll trade one of these for one of these. Uh, my email's in the about page. So, yeah, if not, then I'll just hold on to it. This is a nice capsule, too. I probably, sh since I want to trade it, I probably should not have removed it from the capsule. But yeah. in the brackets, and you're playing in the brackets, uh, you don't know what you're bidding on until it goes on the table. And I didn't know what was going to be on the auction block. You don't know um, what is going to be up for auction during that bracket that he was doing for the first time. And my goal was to be the champion. And to be the champion, sometimes you got to bid on things you don't want to bid on. And this is what we call a love globe, everybody. Um... If you can check it out, it does say, well, it's a coin, I guess. It's a dollar. It was made in 2021. It's nine, three nines fine silver. It's one tenth, <laughs> one tenth ounce coin. Um, 18 millimeters proof like, well, it's in a snow globe. So I would hope it would be proof like, which is kind of weird um, because what kind of fluid is in there to make the, the, Government of the... Oh, this is a Cook Island. Interesting. It is legal tender. Hmm, maybe I should go to the Cook Islands and spend it. <laughs> that would be fun. Somebody mentioned that I should go get this graded, which I doubt the box would matter at that point. But... All right, this is what we got for the second bracket. <laughs> Hmm. You know, anybody who knows anything about snow globes, tell me this because I don't 
I'm not really a fan of snow globes, but I did receive one as a gift. And I kept it in a drawer away from the sunlight. And when I went to go get it back out, because it did play music and everything, it was all yellow inside. The liquid was all yellow. And I was so upset because that was like the only snow globe that I really ever cared about. And this kind of reminds me that it has like a yellowish tone. That's what made me think of it. So if anybody knows why snow globe liquid would go from a nice clear color to a, a dark um, yellowish brown color, please leave it in the comments because, um, well, I know now not to hide my snow globes into drawers. Um, but this is, I'm not a fan of glitter. There's a, Excuse you. As International Stacker says, what does he say, everybody? Live on set. Live on set. All right, so it looks like the glitter is stuck in time. It's like <laughs> glued to the glass. I wonder. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, it takes. You can't really see it, but it's a colorized coin. I'm going to take it away from the camera. So it does have pictures of the mountain. It is a hot air balloon that's attached to that big heart, the big colorful heart. Um, it does not play music. Some people thought I should get it graded. I would do a trade possibly if I don't get graded. If the glitter sticks to the side, it's definitely not going to get a good grade, I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> well, this is um, a one-of-a-kind piece, that's for sure. And it would, somebody out there um, would really appreciate that. I don't think it's safe in my collection. It's too fragile. It's not something I want to hold on to. And if I don't end up getting it graded, which... Um, I would simply do just to make some people happy in the chat that were like, get it graded, get it graded. And um, I can't justify doing that at the moment. Because I'm like, do they grade the coin or do they grade the whole piece? Because, I mean, not to get picky, but there's this. And let's, I don't see any other scratches on the base. But that kind of, like that base inside, that looks a little lopsided to me. So, I mean, it does not look like it would get a good grade. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> I am not one to be grading anything, especially one that I can't see. Okay, so I guess let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this. Um, I'm going to give you options. So please, of the three options, or if you have another option, you are free to email me or uh, keep it civil in the comments. Should I break open the snow globe and remove the coin? Should I do a trade with somebody who really appreciates this? I'd rather do a trade of another precious metal and... Or should I send it in to get graded? Those are the three options. If you have another option, please let me know. And there is my unboxing. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I do have the Skippy and the Ingleheart are back on the scene. They're saying they want to go home to somebody and they can when we reach 500 people. Let's get them home. Let's try to reach 500 and send these guys to a wonderful new home to winners. So let's keep that in mind there. Yeah, I saw in the comments somebody um, said nice Scottsdale pickup. I'm guessing, I don't know what video they, they posted on, but um, if it was the Kit Kat, the five, that's, this is a five ounce Kit Kat, everybody. I've had this one for many years. This is not new to my collection. Uh, it'd be nice to have the 20 ounce. Um, but yeah, I've had this. I just figured it looks better underneath the Eagle because it is a Kit Kat and it's an ingot. Well, 
So instead of having two rounds underneath it, <laughs> I wasn't really feeling that look. So yeah, um, I'm open for some trades and well, of course I'm going to keep the, this, but <laughs> let me know three things. If you have a fourth one and it's appropriate, leave in the comments. If not, email me. And then we have this piece. If you know anything about the meaning of behind this exactly, I know the evil eye. I'm familiar with that. I'm not familiar with any of this. Um, I don't know if it's a flower. I don't know anything about it. So, yeah, leave in the comments and for me. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, no matter where you are or when you're watching. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye.